Larry. Number six, a new brain machine could hear signals from outer space by the year 2030. An enormous radio telescope is going up that will scan the night sky for alien life. Antennas are going up across Australia and South Africa. The square kilometer array will uh, consist of 197 satellite dishes in all and operated by British space scientists. They say this massive radio telescope is just the beginning. Ooh. So watch out, aliens. We're oh. listening. Hey, number five, these new 12-volt portable refrigerators are ideal for your next camping trip. They'll keep your items fresh and cool for hours, and unlike coolers, they don't need ice. Oh. Plus, they run on batteries, so you don't have to plug them in. Each fridge has an LED lighting and a built-in bottle opener and a chopping board. They're not cheap, however. Prices range between $400 and $850, oh, depending on the size. They're on Amazon and uh, other locations. I'll stick with a cooler. Yeah. All right, number four, Norman Rockwell's uh, Swift Baby Food ad is headed for auction. The illustration was used in Ladies Home Journal in May of 1956. Here it is. According to the experts at Heritage Auctions, there is some mild soiling on the surface, most notably the baby's bib. But a little dirt isn't hurting it much. The painting is expected to bring in up to $150,000. Mm. Yeah, it's good paint. I'll yeah. paint it in the lines there and everything. <laughs> <laughs> By number, right? Yeah. Hey, number three, let's say this word together. A salmagundi. All right. It's like an antipasto. A platter and a salad got married. You can basically make it anything you want. Prosciutto, capicola, salami, ham with hard-boiled eggs, ah, favorite of Paul. Uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, peppers, grilled shrimp. Are we just listing <laughs> sure, foods I now? Guess. Yeah. I, the, the key is you tie it together with a special dressing made from egg yolks and dried mustard. Mm -mm. You can Google the recipe. It's like a cob salad, isn't it? But it's also good yeah. for what? I don't know what a cob salad is. To tell you the truth, good for your low-cal or low-carb. People. Sal McGundy. Yeah. Mm. Didn't you know a guy named Sal McGundy? I did know it's Sal McGundy. He almost, well. <laughs> oh. Good friend of yours in high school. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number, number two. two, a little life advice from Dr. Ruth. Oh, what do you know? Did you know she's still talking sex at 93? God bless her. Uh, which makes sense since she didn't launch her radio show Sexually Speaking until she was 52. You're kidding. Well, she seemed like she was 80 when she was yeah. 52. Wow. Uh, she says, I tell other people not to retire, but to rewire, and she's not stopping. A newly revised edition of her book, The Art of Arousal, oh boy. comes up May 3rd with an added section featuring intimacy and older people. Oh, darling, I'm do, do you remember, you see her on TV when yeah. you're younger, you always thought she was... Mm -hmm. 80 back then, yeah, you're right. <laughs> nope. All right, number one, when it comes to nude pub crawls, BYOB means something a little bit different. Bear your own butt. There's a company in the UK called Nothing on Events. Its motto is to normalize naturism and social nudity while promoting body positivity. And it's going to host several events at local pubs where visitors will be allowed to drink in the buff. The first Clothing 3 event was held last month in the town of Surrey, and thanks to the success of that event, there are plans for several yeah. more across the UK. So before you book mm, your, your yeah, trip, make sure yeah. you get that itinerary yeah. either to see it or to not see it, <laughs> right. just so you know where to go. Hey, yeah. I we might yeah. want to check her itinerary <laughs> for travel. <laughs> All right, checking the weather, Mike. Yeah, you know, we're going to have a